Well, hey there, folks. Bubble Roundtree Outdoors. Um, I've had several more requests. Had some uh, some folks wanting to know how I load up my lead drive key slugs in both uh, one ounce and seven eighths ounce. Um, have to admit, here in the South, where it's legal to hunt with buckshot, we don't shoot a lot of slugs down here. But uh, but I have loaded a pretty good bit, and we've learned some things. So I'm gonna share what I've learned with you guys. So let's make a video. Hey guys, Wade Rush, Bubble Round Tree Outdoors. Remember when you're reloading, especially your new reloaders out there, that reloading can be hazardous if you make a mistake or don't know what you're doing. So please don't consider what I'm doing here load data. I find good starting points from good websites, forums, and reloading manuals, and I'll post the links down in the bottom of the description. But I'm sharing with you guys what works for me and what we worked up. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Here comes the reloading segment. Okay guys, whenever you get the um, the uh, Lee 1 ounce slug mold or the 7 8 ounce, you're going to get this uh, little how-to pamphlet with, the, uh, with load data on it. I don't know how much of this load data you're going to be able to pick up here. Let's see for the 1 ounce. Here's your 1 ounce load data right here. And what we're focusing on is the blue dot. It says it is that's correct you're reading that right guys 49 grains of blue dot or 36 grains of herco and that is volumed out and measured in Lee's 4.0 cc dipper right there that's your load data now this is a double a double a 12 using a double a 12 wide I'm gonna be using something comparable, but uh, but not exactly. And they're using the um, this is Federal Gold Medal or Remington Premier solid uh, plastic hulls. Okay, you can see the data as I see it right there. Here is the uh, here is the four cc dipper right here. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in on it where you can see that is the uh, 4.0 cc dipper and so what I wanted to do according to this uh, info right here this should be throwing 49 grains of, of blue dot powder well according to Lee's this is basically Lee's slide rule right here of, uh, of their powder measures let me pull up. Hang on, guys. Let me get the blue dot slide pulled up here. All right, here we go. On the blue dot part of the slide, you go down here and it, this shows all of their dippers and what, how much weight and grains that the powder will throw. You see, they say their 4.0 dipper will throw 46.3. Well, Lee makes both of these right here. One says it throws 49. The other one says that the 4.0 in the blue dot powder throws 46.3. So here's what I did. I ran a little experiment of my own. I scooped up four scoops, different four different scoops leveled off in the uh, in this 4.0 powder dipper right here, and I poured them in my Lee safety scale right here. I originally set it on 49 grains and bumped it back until we got what it was actually a level dipper was throwing on this scale. Did it four times. We got 43 and a half grains first time, 42 and a half grains second time, 43 grains third time, and 42.8 or so grains the uh, the fourth time. So basically averaging is throwing right around 43 grains is what a level scoop is actually what my scoop is throwing of this um, run of powder blue dot powder right here 
is throwing 43 grains on a level scoop. That's what I'm putting in these slug, these one ounce slug loads, and that's what we will be shooting, guys. Just wanted to let you know that. All right, for all intents and purposes, we're going to be using uh, for this load both the crimp rolled and rolled. We're going to be using the uh, federal federal field load hulls, nickel base, eight star crimp. Very, very common holes, guys. I've got bags full of them here that we get from the range at the road. And uh, for you folks that have your loaders like this or your lee load all that um, that you're gonna want to crimp your loads, then uh, this is what I found that works best. You'll see we we shoot so we sh um, shot several of these loads down the range. We were testing these things out. We got some really good video of it, and you'll see how they perform down there. But these uh, for the crimped for the crimped load, we're going to be using the WT12 or the BP equivalent, the old red WT12 um, AA wide Winchester wide, and this is the orange BP equivalent. They're identical, virtually identical. This is for our crimped load that we're going to demonstrate right here. Uh, as you will have seen earlier in the video, we did an actual weight test on the uh, on this 4cc cup right here, folks. This is what we're going to be using for uh, all of our slug loads in the Herco powder or and or the Blue Dot powder. But for right now, we're going to do the uh, Blue Dot. The Blue Dot's performed better in uh, in my shotguns, and so that's what we're going to be sticking with right now. This literally throws 43, an average of 43 grains of blue dot powder. So that is what is going in here. And this should be, if uh, the load data that Lee provides is, is close to on the money, 43 grains of blue dot with this one ounce slug should be pushing it about 1,500 foot per second downrange. Okay. I'm going to decap one of these federal. Pop a primer in it. This is a paper based wad or fiber based wad, also, guys. All right. Blue dot powder, 4cc scoot. Like I said, rock it side to side till you just have a nice level scoot. This creates a very big bang, as you will see whenever we get to the range with these things. Okay. 43 grains of blue dot. WT12, AA, red or orange BP equivalent. This is a, give you a look, see guys. There's the actual part number. A one ounce, one ounce lead drive key slug. And then so we can get this thing working down up here. I'm gonna have to get my little tamp rod here. Could do this in the machine, but there's really no need to. If I wanted, I'd just drop him in the press over here, run over here and let the ram rod put some pressure on it. There you have it. Beautiful round. Perfect. I'll take my, my old silver Sharpie here. Seems to show up really good on all of these dark colored holes. And I put one ounce slug, 43 of BD for blue dot. So I know what that means. And if you guys have a roll crimp tool and you want to roll crimp your rounds so that you can look right in the end and know what you've got here, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Uh, I have an old antique roll crimp tool right there, guys. I'm going to see if I can zoom in and give you a better look at it.
I'll get it in a minute. I've got him set up there, attached to my bench for about 20 bucks off of uh, off of eBay, including shipping. They're all over e uh, eBay at times, folks. Not always, but uh, but at times you will find them on eBay. Sorry about the jerky camera, guys. Uh, so what we do what we do if you want to roll crimp here yeah, I got sell some of these breast cancer awareness holes we're laying all over the ranges this past year guys and so we got a lot of the pink federal holes but I take if you want to roll crimp the hole same load I take it and I take a pair of medics scissors right here and right there right at the crimp clip it off right there right where the crimp starts we're going to decap it prime it now we're going to hit it with our 43 grains of blue dot now the exception this time is we're going to grab a standard double a 12 red wide or the bp equivalent which is the same number double a 12 r double a 12 red wide this happens to be the bp equivalent get our one ounce drive key slug work that down into our load here like that guys all right now here's where the magic comes in here with this with this roll crimp tool let me see if I can get this down here where you can see what we're doing here take him and insert him into the tool here get the lever up under it like this right here you start turning it's a little rough but that's not gonna matter heat up your plastic pretty good when it feels like it's heated up pretty good then start putting your pressure for your roll and that feels about right there you go all right that looks pretty good don't it I've got the little drill bit that goes in to your drills, guys, that does this. Uh, from BP, it costs like 40 bucks plus shipping. I bought one of the Teflon uh, roll crimpers also that was about 20 bucks, uh, including shipping. And uh, they don't work like without a drill press. They're going to beat you to death trying to use them. That little antique uh, roll crimper right there. Matter of fact, uh, I got a really good deal on another one uh, that wasn't in as good a shape as this one, but it was like 10 bucks, uh, including shipping, that I found a little bit later. When you can find them, get them. If you're going to do your roll crimping, uh, most people don't have a drill press. I know that I don't. I don't even have access to one. So that was a godsend, that little antique tool right there to do your roll crimping. I'm going uh, to make a note on this one, guys, and then I'm going to come back and show you a new slug load that ones that I will actually uh, be trying to take a deer on video this year. I'm gonna try to. I've got a blind, special blind set up where I won't have but about a 30 yard shot, uh, and so I'm zeroing these shotguns in to uh, to where I'm pretty confident that even out to 50 yards that I could take them clean with one of these rounds. And uh, I'm gonna be back and show you the load that I've been working on, working with a uh, federal black cloud three inch magnum hull that i'm cutting the crimp off of and loading it with a new bp wide i'll show you what we got when i come right back in a little bit guys stay tuned little quick tip folks if um if your slug projectile wants to if you shake it around and it slides around in here just a little bit don't want to stay seated all the way down into your hull guys here's a little quick fix that you can do candle 
just regular beeswax, white wax. I take and I drop three or four drops of wax down into the seam. I don't know if you'll be able to see down there or not. There you go. You can see the wax down in the seam around that wad. It'll stick that projectile in there. Good. It's not going anywhere. And I had several of them that we shot at the range. Had no effect on the accuracy whatsoever, guys. They fly real good. Keeps them seated in place where they need to be if they want to slide around on you. Just a little quick tip. Okay, folks, with the round I was telling you about that I developed from the uh, three inch black cloud hulls, centered it around a new wad that I found, BP wad, PP1205. Um, PT you should be able to read it there, uh, even if I'm not saying it right. PT1205. It is a 7 8 ounce wad, new wad from Ballistic Products. This is what it looks like. I was real impressed with the design. The seams of the plastic here are actually still, they're perforated, but they're still stuck together right here. Your one ounce slug fits in there perfect. Nice and slug, uh, not slug, nice and snug. As you see, I don't do a whole lot of editing on this thing, folks. That makes a great Sabo right there. Basically, basically, the lead drive key slug was designed to go in a wide and basically work as a Sabo to push this projectile out. So the way we put this together is I take a three inch black cloud. I get these from my buddy, Mr. Bill Calwas. I'll, I'll, I'll provide a link to an email here in the description or on the video right here to show you how to get in contact with him. You can get these holes really cheap. Three inch mag holes, federal fiber base wide. I take this one just like we did because we roll crimping all of these guys. The ones I'm going to be hunting with, we're going to roll crimp these. I take my medic's scissors here and we snip off that crimp right on the crimp line. primer in this bad boy. I'll try to move along these videos seem to keep running long on me guys so I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit and we shot 7 8 ounce 1 ounce using both the Herco and the blue dot the 1 ounce with the 43 grains of Herco powder that is supposed to be the best 43 grains of blue dot powder guys blue dot powder 43 All grains right. of blue dot up. powder our Sabo with our new ballistic products PT1205 wide, three quarter ounce wide. Get him worked down in here. Get our roll crumper get a few revolutions there where it heats up the plastic a little bit you'll feel it whenever the the bumping stops then we'll start putting some pressure on it and that feels right it is a beautiful thing and that that rascal is in there I ran it through my AL 390 automatic they ran excellent Okay, folks, that's how we put them together. The next segment is going to be the range and uh, put your earplugs on. These things make some big bangs, guys. So we'll see you out at the range in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're set up just over 50 yards here. This is the Federal Black Cloud Reload, one ounce lead drive key slug with the PT-1205 ballistic products Sabo uh, type wide. I've got the Hastings rifled choke tube in my Beretta AL390 here. 
impressive three-shot group, two of which impacted the same hole. Shooting slight left, I just need to make a few adjustments on my rear sight, and we'll be right on the money with this one. In this three-shot group, guys, we tried the 7 8 ounce lead drive key slug, pushed by 36 grains of Herco powder, same black cloud hull with the PT-1205 wad, um, same configuration, rolled the crimp, but we got the rifled, Remington rifled choke tube in my old H-70 with a 25-inch barrel. Three-shot group was not that impressive with this one here, although it's probably throwing it about 1,600 foot per second. Uh, we can tighten up this group, I am sure, but that uh, Herco powder may just be burning a little bit too fast for this uh, for this particular. We'll uh, we want to try it with the blue dot in another segment and see how that works out. For this three-shot group, see we've got all I've got two federal field loads and a double A gray that we crimped. We didn't roll crimp these, we we star crimped these. One ounce lead drive key slug pushed by 36 grains of Herco powder with the uh, with the uh, WT12 wide or the, the orange ballistic product equivalent. The group was not that great. Uh, although two almost impacted the same hole, and you can see that it is shooting left. In this last three shot segment, here is the, uh, there's two federal hulls, one field load, one is a one ounce rifled slug hull that we reloaded. They all have 43 grains, I know one has 46 on it, but it's 43 grains of blue dot powder, pushing the one ounce drive key slug. <laughs> group was pretty impressive on this one. But you can see that I do need to adjust these sights left. These rounds were so hot they were cycling the action without any help from me. Two impacted the same hole. Ejecting themselves. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a pump gun do that if you ain't, ain't holding it. Yep. It'll kick it open. Like me, was hitting a little bit to the left. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. I'll be back with another, another one as soon as I can. Okay. Bye bye. 26 pound.